Hi guys, Mr. Ruffles here. This is your no-nonsense guide to the Dirt on Fong Easter Egg. First, you're gonna want to reset your game until you get Transmit on Shino Numa for round one. Once you get to the end of the escort by the flogger, once the head explodes, you're gonna want to try and wedge yourself inside the barrier. Keep doing it until the red portal starts teleporting you away. Quickly, while you're teleporting, you need to go and launch Black Ops 3 and click Solo Shino Numa. While you're loading in, you're going to need to go to Vanguard and uninstall it. This step is very important. Once that's done and you've loaded in, Dirt on Fung will look more bright and colourful. But the map is reset to start in the hut with a dumb looking 1911. You'll need to immediately go to the gobble gun machine they added. Since I'm a zombies YouTuber, I will need a perkaholic to do anything in this game. Since I got it first try, there's no need to restart this whole process. Head back over to the flogger where you'll notice the barrier has been replaced with the viable door. Once you go through it... Hey guys, Mr. T Lex if I back. Hi Lex, I would love to chat, but you're currently interrupting my no-nonsense guide to the Dirt on Fung Easter egg. But Milo, Dirt on Fung doesn't have an Easter egg. Lex, the viewers are clueless. I mean my die machine pack-a-punch video got a million views. The game literally holds your hand to the back of punch. But if someone who actually did play Dirt on Fun clicked on the video after playing the mode, should have been able to use their most bare bones critical thinking skills. Uh, uh I mean. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Sirspaid4, world famous zombies YouTuber, you know, stands among these legends here. Uh, yeah, if you actually thought there was an Easter egg after playing this mode, like, what are you guys doing? Like, this mode doesn't even have a pause button. You think there's an Easter egg in here? Like, come on. Do you think they considered, hmm, do we have enough time for an Easter egg? No, bruh, they didn't have enough time to add a pack a punch camo. Well, I'm glad that bozo's gone. <laughs> it's me, Liam for the winter. Did you guys know I hit partner on Twitch today? Oh, congrats, Liam. Oh, I hit that a million years ago. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of surprising they accepted me with the things I stream. What do you stream? I thought you only played zombies. You constantly tell us how much you love and adore zombies and how you hope to play it until the day you die. <laughs> Not the time for that, lads. I need to go start up my stream now. I'm really upset I have to share an Airbnb with that bozo. The Texas trip would be so much better without him. Yeah, I would let you stay with us at our house, but we lost one of the rooms because Chop made it a health hazard. I'm just not even gonna ask. At least we know who caused the incident this time. Oh my lordy Lex, how do you guys still not know who took a big fat dump in Noah J456's sink? The only possible explanation was that it was me and I forgot, but I'm not gonna say that to the public. Yeah, that's great Lex, but look, Liam went alive is live. Rating my viewers' testicles. Oh my gosh, Lex. We need to participate in this. What? No, I'm not showing Liam my balls. Wait a minute. Why is JC in that call? Well, I have some really saucy balls. I'm surely going to get a 10 out of 10. At the very least, JC is going to lose to my very superior spicy meat balls. Does Blundell know that JC is showing his cock and balls to Liam's audience? Because I think it's safe to assume deviators are not allowed to do that. Who cares, Lex? At least I can put off finishing the rest of this no-nonsense guide. Just come on, Lex. Let's go get our testes appraised.